This is how I saved over 1.7K on my trip to Japan and Korea. My biggest saving was on my flights, which I saved over $1,000 by booking using my Qantas points. A lot of shops in Japan and Korea have a tax refund for tourists. You just need to show your passport and some will do immediate tax refund at the store and others you'll need to claim at the airport. I think I saved around $70 to $100 with this. I also had an Epic Pass from the Australian snow season and that gave me five days of free live pass access in Hakuba, which otherwise would have cost me $350. Credit card also came with free travel insurance, which would have saved me around $200. They also came with two lounge passes, which would have cost me $140. I also locked in the yen exchange rate back in November when it was around 94. And when I went on my trip, it was around 91. So this would have saved me an extra $100. From these six things, I managed to save 1.7K on my trip. Not to mention we did pre-book a lot of our activities online, which definitely would have been cheaper than going on the day.